the moment we attempt to control our feelings is the moment that our feelings start to control us. Same with our emotions, right? And so it's important to say that they're going to be there. I can't control them and lock them away. But what I can do is understand the purpose of them, how to utilize them to the best of my ability to help me grow and understand the circumstance I'm in right now. Yes. Right? So it's a tool, just like any other tool. Very much a tool. And understanding that they aren't our identity. Feelings and emotions are in many ways fleeting, yet we are kind of through language taught to make them our identity. I am angry. Mm -hmm. I am sad. I am frustrated. It's all these I ams. And then we fill in the blank of, of, a, of a, something that we are experiencing in that moment. And through that process, we're identifying who we are on a repeated basis. And I think that's maybe a good place to start yes. in terms of understanding how, how to adjust how we actually talk about our feelings and, and our emotions, recognizing that that's not who we are. Like, hey, I'm f it could be as simple as I'm, I'm feeling frustrated right now. Uh, I am frustrated right now. Yes. And it's key because the more you say, like, I am frustrated, I am angry, I am the things, as you pointed out, then you start to identify as I am an angry person. Yes. That's just my nature. I am a volatile person. Like, my emotions swing back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then, next thing you know, it becomes that almost sometimes even a conditional state of being like i don't know who i am if i'm not feeling this right. right and other people might label like oh they're a hothead yes you know like they're they're always get angry and then people start to walk on eggshells around you because they don't want to get you upset because they don't want to get yelled at when that's not actually who you are right exactly so let's talk about the difference between emotions and feelings for anyone who hasn't seen a previous podcast where we discuss this you know, our emotions are those physical feelings that we get and sensations. When I say feelings, I mean like sensations. So the moment something triggers in you, it sparks that emotion. And it could be joy, like we talk about anger and frustration, but it could be like that, that emotion of joy and love and connection, right? We get a body sensation. If it's love, joy, we feel uplifted, our chest goes open, we're just like, whoa, here I am, world. And like our body responds to that. And the more we do that, then we're creating those feelings of safety, of happiness, of joy. And that stays with us. Like that's how our brain interprets it, stores it as a memory. And then recalls it in future similar situations, right? So then it can be a trigger for positivity or for feelings and emotions that you may not desire in the future. And so when we become aware of the body sensations of emotions, then we can get ahead of it and direct it if it's not one that we want to register as a feeling to come up again. And again, and again, we can say, oh, when I'm frustrated or I'm starting to feel anxious or I'm starting to feel angry, I feel this in my body. And for me, when those sensations arise, I start to feel like that pit in my stomach, right? And then I can feel almost, we call it blood boiling mm. because you do, you get that hot feeling that starts to go throughout your body. Usually if you're in a state of joy, you're not feeling that pit in your stomach and that feeling that's radiating <laughs> through you, right? And so you can then go, oh, I know this sensation. I know what emotions are being sparked in this moment. I'm going to use that as information for myself. Information to let me know how to direct what emotion is triggered. And if it's anger or frustration? What tools do I have so that it doesn't stay with me? So next time a situation like this occurs, 
my brain doesn't recall the same feeling and then compile on top of each other because we just love to do that, right? We're like little closets all stuffed with these feelings and emotions that we've just pushed way down. And one day you're going to open that closet door and it's all just going to hit you. But if you address it as it comes up and then you direct, oh, I'm going to put that here or no, I don't necessarily need this for the future. So I'm just going to let it go. And here's a tool for letting it go. Then you don't start to identify with the emotion. You don't start to identify with the feeling. And you understand that it's, um, it's information coming at you so that you can say, oh, these types of situations tend to make me feel this way. So then I can do something about how that feeling is coming up and what I'm going to do with it. 